and welcome to another video on my channel and in this video I want to honor like the German Unity Day and I react to all the songs from Germany in this video so from 1956 to 2020 so uh, yeah they participated in every year except for one because there was like a selection that only like some countries can go to Eurasian, but yes, so anyways, from 1956 to 2020, here we go, it is really long time since we de debuted. Nineteen fifty six two songs by Walter Andreas Schwarz. Wir warten seit gestern auf das Glück von morgen und leben mit Wünschen von übermorgen. Oh, the second song was from a different artist, Lady Quinn. Oh, I didn't know this. Lovely melody. Okay. Oh, and she returned the year after. Yeah, I know her. But, yeah. This is like the more mono song. Good zwei große Musik. For two penny music. Oh, a French title by Win Hope in London, and we were successful fourth place. Germany really did well in the very first Eurovision. Okay, the year after, not so well, 1961, 13th place with Lale Andersson. Oh, yes, a classic. And I love it. Two little Italians. Don't know this entry. Marcel by Heidi Brühl. Okay, man gewöhnt sich so schnell an das Schöne. How quickly we get used to the nice things. By Nora Nova. And zero points, followed by another year with zero points, and then like 50 years with points. So, this was a good sign uh, after this like double with zero points. And they really uh, embraced and scored points every year, the year after. So, seven points at least one year later. Margot Eskins. Oh, 
And another song I don't know. Inge Brück. Anushka. Okay. A toast of love. Oh, top 10? I don't know how many. Okay, 17. So, not so well. Sir Malkvist. I think she was also in Melody Festival then. I don't know which year, but she was there as well. So, yeah. Didn't do so well. Okay, first half, but no. Yeah. No, second half. <laughs> oh. Katja Epstein. Oh, third place. Here we go, the 70s, the great decade from Germany. Katja Epstein, one of the most successful German Eurasian acts. And again a third place. Katja Epstein, diese Welt, diese Welt. But I thought she ended up second in both years, okay, third. And a third, third place in a row, Mary Rose. Mary Rose, nur die Liebe lässt uns leben, only love let us live. Oh yes, I remember this, this song. Oh. Who was Gitte? Eighth place. One year in a mill. Okay. And then we failed. Fourteenth place out of seventeen, so yeah. But yeah. The other three entries were better, like 70, 71, 72. 73 wasn't so good, 74 and so well. So. Okay. Yes, Troy Fleming is well known. Ein Lied kann eine Brücke sein is also like really known here. Oh, it was in Stockholm. I can relate for this in another 73 place, honestly. <laughs> Sing Sang Song. Okay. Telegram. Silver Convention. I don't know why, but I remember this. Like, a little bit. Good choreography. Oh. Oh yeah. I like this song. Oh, Chinggis Khan. Who? Ha! I love it. This is like the best Sherman entry ever. I love this so much. This is epic and... Yeah. I think... I don't have to say anything. This is a Eurovision classic and will always be... It will always remind me of Eurovision and Germany and I love it so much. I mean, will never stop loving it. And okay, and then there was the second place from Katja Epstein and Theater. And this was great as well. I think she deserved a victory. And another second place, Lena Valle.
my light is Johnny Blue. Of course, I remember this. And I love it as well. 70s and 80s. Really good for Germany. And Nicole, of course, our first winner. And I think it was an important victory. Important message from Germany. A piece, a bit of peace from Germany, like, yeah. Okay. Hoffmann and Hoffmann. I don't remember this, actually. But it ended up in 5th place, so... Really good. Oh, Mario's return. Auf weg gehen. 13th place. And this is a classic as well. I think it was a bit underrated, actually. Oh, wind. Yeah. Didn't, didn't they return the year after? Or later? Oh, did they participate earlier? <laughs> this was a good song. Okay. 8th place the following year, 1986. Ingrid Peters über die Brücke gehen, crossing the bridge. Nothing special. But I think it's still good. Yeah. Wind return. Second place. Again. Many second places for Germany. Respect. We were the Sweden of the 80s. I would say. <laughs> and now, Lied für einen Freund, a lot, song for a friend. By Maxi and Reese Garden. Nino De Angelo, I know this name, but I don't know the song. I don't remember this song. Daniel Kovac and Chris Kempers, Right to Leben. Yeah. Didn't listen to this neither. Don't remember it. Oh, I remember Atlantis 2000. This dream must never die. Dieser Traum darf niemals sterben. And a third return, a like third participation for Wind. Träume sind für alle da. Okay, we're in the middle of the 90s again in Ireland. Wintner Freiheit. I remember this this group name. Oh. Makedo. Mak Mikado. <laughs> Stone and stone. One point for Germany. Mm. 
in the year when everyone was like, yes, finally someone else won, not only Ireland. Yes, and this was the one that did not go to Eurasia, and Leon and Planet of Blue didn't win, uh, didn't go further in the qualification round. But then the year after we did it, Bianca Schomburg and Zeit. Even then they sang about time. Gildo hat euch lieb. <laughs> Another classic from Germany. This is so, so stupid and so good. This was like iconic. Iconic. One of the best German entries ever. Like, just too weird. That it's already great, you know? And this was also great. Reise nach Jerusalem by Sir Breeze. I love this. This like Israeli tone of music in it. And another stupid song from Germany. <laughs> Stefan Raab, war der Hardy Gudetta. This was also great. This was also great. This surface place, I would say. So stupid, that is good. And Michel, when you believe, I think this should have won, honestly. I think this should have won, this is really great. I love it so much. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> should have won. Okay. Okay, that's the sparring the year after. And Tallinn. Corinna May. Hey, another great song from Germany. Top 5, I would say. I love it so much in the year I was born. And it reminds me a bit of like my first year. Like, it really reminds me of this. The time because it was played a lot and I think I just probably uh, recognized it so yeah it's somewhere in my brain and Max Mutzke can't wait until tonight he was really successful I think a bit too successful honestly Germany is really proud of it I'm honest and I think it was a bit too high I would say but Everyone can have his opinion. But for that I would say that this was better than the last place, so... Kreisha and one and Hyde. I think it has something really good. Not top 10, but not last. Oh, Texas Lightning. Cool country song. Probably because of the costumes that it did not work so well. But I like it. I really like it. Lovely pop country song. Oh, what a teacher. The last time we sang in German. And he passed away. Oh, an arrangement. What a flop. Such a flop. I'm sorry. 23rd place. We were like, okay, this time we will win because we have a, like a well known act. And Europe was like in your face, Germany. <laughs> oh, another terrible song. What is this? What is this? This is such a ridiculous bad song and performance. What are they doing? Okay, and then Lena's really 
who will leave us. They really deserve the victory, it was like after Nicole it was just time to win again and it was so deserved. I think this could have won as well the year after taken by a stranger, really. I think it was just a bit too early, I think five years later it would have been in the top five. Or would have been won. But for 2011 I think Europe was just not ready for it, so... It was one of the best songs. Also Standing Still. Also Standing Still it was really good, I love it. I still listen to this sometimes. Unfortunately Roman Lob isn't really known in Germany anymore, I think it deserves more. But yeah, this is how it goes. Deserved 8th place, it was a strong year 2012. It deserved this place. Oh, Cascada, glorious. Probably it did not end up that well because of it's like similarities to, to Euphoria, but I don't care. I love Euphoria, it sounds a bit like Euphoria and that's why I love Glorious as well. It's great. My favorite songs, one of my favorite songs from 2013. And Elisa were also underrated, come on. They were really great. But it was a strong year, I get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. And 18th place isn't really bad, it's okay. They had their success also in years after in Germany with this song, so... Credits for them, they are great. And so free black smoke, zero points. I get why people dislike it, I get why people like it, and I'm like in between. But when I was watching this, I was like, okay, I don't like this staging. It did not deserve zero points. And this super boring song. Great voice. Staging also great, but I think this song just does not fit with her, with her personality. I think she needs something crazy like something like from Champa, like Japanese or from Korea. Levina! The song is good. The song is really good. I get why it did not end up so well. I mean, it's a bo like, it's, I mean, they think it's boring. It's like nothing special. I personally like it, but I think, yeah, the staging, what the hell, perfect life and black and white. This outfit. But I personally love the song. And Miguel Schulter, again a big release for Germany. And deserved this fourth place. I think even if he won I would have been totally okay with it. Of course because I'm German and I... Of course I love him, I can't win Eurovision, but... It would have been a great Eurovision winning entry as well. Really touching. And then... The higher the top... <laughs> you know it. This was a flop. This was a flop. Definitely. This whole 2019 year was a flop from Germany. Come on. Why? Why adding this to a selection? And then do it. The performance in uh, the Elf Philharmony wasn't good. Wasn't really good. But the song is great. The song is like one of my favorite songs from Euros in 2020. One of my like top 10 or top 5. Really good feelings about this. So, uh, yes, yes, yes. The most recent entry is good. So, this is my reaction to the German songs from 2000, like from 1956 to 2020. So, what do you think about those? Which are your favorites? Which are like your least favorites? So, let me know your comments down below. So, yeah. And then, don't forget to like and subscribe if you watch until the end or. If you just enjoy this channel, so then subscribe and then you won't miss anything and then we'll see you later. Bye!